What did he do to you, Jeff? Find your own score. Oh! He just cut off one of Jeff's tentacles. Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Reacts, where today we are reacting to the Game Tunes video, the true story of Jeff's shop. Now, I normally start this on the video watch page, but I wanted to look at this thumbnail right here because we see three characters from Door 52. And, and one of them is a little different than the one we see and know and love as the higher power Bob. And oh, no, no, I can't go too close because it'll, it'll preview the video. But Bob right here has his hat on and Jeff is looking mighty angry and he's grabbing him and El Goblino is just laughing. So I'm interested to see what the story of Bob is as compared to what we saw from Mad Pat in game theory and see if it's any different and well, which one we like better because we can make it up at this point. Now, before I start the video, I'm going to go ahead and like it and I'm already subscribed and I would absolutely appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel as well, I'm trying to get to 10 million subscribers. And if you're asking what's in it for me, well, one, great videos. But two, once I hit 10 million subscribers, I will never ask you or anyone else to subscribe ever again. But until then, I'm gonna ask, and I'm gonna ask a lot because being around 90% of the way there is killing me slowly. Uh, okay, on, let's get, come on. okay. Why isn't the code working? Oh, that's a diff, I don't think we've heard this voice actor before, or I've never heard this voice yes, actor on. I did it, I'm free on game tunes up oh, uh, dude you gotta go through the door bro oh he made it he made it he made it oh whoa wait oh wait figure figure okay already and yes if you guys want to watch the original i'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out without me pausing and being absolutely super annoying pausing at 21 anyway. seconds in but that's already inaccurate figure cannot go to door 51 if you make it out of door 50 the door is automatically closed in a stupid face we There's all know no that into this place okay it's just monster after Decent monster spawn. after monster nah -uh. tell me about it hombre huh Bobby's hey been telling me there's all sorts of weird stuff going around the hotel hey come on that's my voice tell me about it hombre huh? see Tell me about it, hombre. No, it's like this. Tell me about it, hombre. Come on, you gotta put the force into his voice. Bob's been telling me there's all sorts of weird stuff going around the hotel. Dude. Oh, there's Jeff. What are you freaks? Oh, come on, don't be rude. He's just trying to be an honest businessman. Uh-huh. That's not even the right music. You guys aren't trying to kill me? The three of us? No way, amigo. Bobby, you're as friendly with everyone. He Bobby. even tried to make friends with that Timothy guy. But I'm like, he's a bug, man. Okay, that, they used a quote from, uh, for, they're using quotes from El Goblino from the actual game. Cause like, what, I just, the accent. He's a bug, man. Ah. Oh. Oi, relax, buddy. You know, I'm only giving you a hard time cause you're my best friend. Hey, what's uh. going on with the lights? Ah, uh, it's killing me. Oh. Yo, okay, so that right there, I, I'm sure you guys have seen this in one of my shorts. This is actually from somebody else's animation where something happens, El Goblino gets scared and he like shoots across like that. He slides. I've seen this before in an, uh, like in a 3D animation and Jeff shuts his shop. Man, it's Rush. Yeah, I I think it was actually, I think it was actually Rush in Oi, the shop. Are you hurt, dude? We don't get many visitors here. I thought you'd be a goner for sure. I think I'm okay. I'm gonna stop insulting <sighs> the accent and stopping it, it, but too. it's killing me. But wait, where's Bob? Bob, talk to me, hombre. No, no Bob. What's the big deal? He's just what? a pile of bones. Yo, what did you just say to me? Uh oh. Yo, Bob is the higher power. Don't you know, bro? To be hombre. Cause Bob over here was the best person this hotel has ever seen. Yeah. He's the one who saved me and Jeff and showed us we didn't have to be evil like all the other monsters in this place. Oh. You see, Jeff's okay. been here so long. Look at him he's drooling. completely forgotten who he was before. Mm. His memories start with flashes from his transformation and the excruciating pain he felt throughout. To this day, he's never what? let us see his full trans form in the light. But barely, it's too hideous for even his friends to witness. What? This new body made Jeff confused. Okay. 
angry. Very different he felt the than hot game theory. rage flowing through him. It forced them to lash out. Jeff! Anyone that crossed his path, he wanted to make the world feel the suffering he had to endure. That was back when the hotel was still open and filled to the brim with esteemed guests, so he had plenty of victims to choose from. But no matter mm. how powerful he got, no matter yeah. how many people he hurt, he couldn't feel the sadness inside. He was lonely, incomplete. So he opened a shop because he's an entrepreneur! So this is completely different than uh, MatPat's theory, and uh, I don't know if you guys watched my reaction to uh, Game Theory's most recent video on Doors, but his theory is that Bob was in the rooms. There's a Bob name tag on one of the desks, uh, and he ended up back in Door 52 after he got through rooms. He basically lived there to be safe, and there was no food, because, you know, El Goblino talks about having no food, or, or Jeff overcharging for food, uh, but uh, and, and uh, Bob starved to death, in the chair, uh, trying to just stay away from the other entities. Me? I remember everything. Oh, this I is El Goblino! Hotel, taking all the fanciest cars for a joyride around town. Yo! When was watching, I'd steal cash from the register. Hundreds of dollars. El Goblino! Somebody's entire network, you were my favorite, dude! I'd the guest rooms and confiscate all their valuables. Anything to make a buck. I was the lowest of the low. But eventually, Steve. I was caught by your hotel manager, Mr. Pennybags. Mr. Pennybags. So he just threw me over to the police. But it she. <gasps> Yo, these are the these are his. Well, I mean, they look like well, they were supposed to be handcuffs. These are actually the bracelets that El Goblino wears. I, it doesn't have the tie between them, but but I see it. I see it. Spiteful man, as powerful as Mr. Pennybags. Had a much darker punishment in mind. He performed an oh, ritual. So one just like the way he made ambush. To those performed on all the other entities in this hotel. Oh, he has the he earring too. A hex on me, a curse that transformed my body and mind. I was no longer. Oh no, I don't like seeing El Goblino looking dead like that. El there he is. <laughs> Transformation only made my greed worse. All I could think about was wealth and gold. It consumed me. So that is also different than Matt Pat's theory of how El Goblino came to be. His theory is that uh, that El Goblino is a spirit. Uh, he's El Duende, uh, he called it. Uh, he's like the son of some uh, Mexican farmers, immigrants who came to the U.S. and he died as a child uh, and, and in in the infirmary in one uh, in the hotel. And now he haunts the hotel. But yeah, this is all this is all theory and 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 uh, all for fun. Uh, Game Tunes wants to tell a story about it. Uh, Matt Pat wants to research it. I, I don't know which I, I I'm gonna lean toward Matt Pat's theory because we never see Mr. Pennybags in actual doors. So uh, I think his is probably closer to correct. And now let me know which I one you guys monster, like better, though. I didn't exactly have to be sneaky about it. <laughs> I could just take whatever trinkets I desired by force. Yo, Yet, could you imagine staying at a hotel and seeing him jump on you? I did as a man. No matter ah. what I stole, no matter how much Not good I enough, hoarded, huh? I was unfulfilled. It was like an awful itch I couldn't scratch. I was miserable. Uh -huh. That's where Bob comes in. He worked at Ooh, the hotel's donuts. gift shop, sweeping okay. floors, stalking the shelves, and attending to all the guests' needs. And we know his name was Bob because that's what his hat said. Okay. He wore that ugly thing every day. He hey. wasn't like us. He was kind and good at his job. The guest loved him so much his deep jar would end up overflowing with money. Like Jeff. He was foolish to leave now. it out so proudly. Boy, <laughs> he was right there for the taking. This would be my biggest hole yet. Really? Surely you were inside a safe full of gold. What are you talking about? Now was my time to strike. This should be it. I finally earned enough to afford that ring I've been eyeing for so long. What then ring? I proposed to my dear <gasps> sweet Darlene. Oh, I thought that life. was his mom All over here. It's and Darlene. Be worth it once she agrees to marry me. What? Jeff? Ah! Bro. What did he do to you, Jeff? Just like that's my tip jar. Hey, hombre, find your own score. Oh! He just cut off one of Jeff's so tentacles. Went at each other like savages. This wasn't my first time seeing Jeff. Okay. Most in the hotel knew about each other's existences. It's just that we typically keep to ourselves. Oh, whoa! Oh, he knocked out. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back a second, because El Goblino, he, he's got. Wait. Oh, he's got a bunch of teeth here. 
Because now, now he knocked out one of his teeth. That's disgusting. Okay, because you know, Algolino's just got the teeth on one side. Going to quit until one of us were dead, and unfortunately, looked like that was going to be me. Jeff had been converted much longer than me, so naturally he was more powerful. I didn't stand a chance, but just when it seemed like it was all over. No, stop! What? What happened? Bob risked his life to save me. What? A total stranger. And wait, I thought the tooth got knocked out on that side. What'd you do that for, hombre? You got some kind of death wish or something? I just couldn't stand there and watch you die. I had to help. But I'm a monster. Evil to the core. No one is that evil. There's good inside everybody. Especially you just El have to Listen to your heart. Ah, and do what's right. Oh. Take the money, if that is what you two are fighting over. I've been saving it for quite some time, but it's not worth anybody dying over. Jeff and uh, I Bob, you're gonna it. die. No one has showed us oh, even look an at ounce sad of Jeff. kindness since we became monsters. We look back at all the horrible things we had done in our past and we're filled with regret. Just promise me one thing, that you'll take care of my sweet Darlene, one way or the other. She's uh, everything to me. Yeah. We, we promise. Uh, How are they gonna no. do that? Wait, he transformed and into bones like right that, away? He looked like our new friend that passed. Then and there, look, Jeff and I- Looked like he passed, he turned into a skeleton. What do you think, man? Our promise come true. Unfortunately, our former employer, Mr. Pennybag, showed leave. up with other plans. He used his stupid crucifix to control us, like he always has, and took all the money for himself. Later, I found out he had already visited my horde and taken that too. Dude. Nothing was going to stop us from keeping our promise. That's we why we tipped Jeff Darlene her money to save Darlene. Where's the tip jar? We didn't oh, there it is. Anymore. Oh, that's we where the tip jar came from. It's Bob's. Way, like Bob would. So yeah. We set up a little shop. It was a tough business. All the <laughs> hotel guests ran at the very sight of us. No, no, no. I buy stuff. Or left any tips. Personally, I, leave tips. I think we're long overdue for a rebrand. I wanted to name it El Goblino's Gallery of Fine Antiquities for I like quite some that. time, but I keep getting outvoted. Outvoted? By who? Uh, Jeff, Jeff and Bob, of course. But Wait, I Bob? Bob died all those years ago. Yeah. Well, yeah, he did. But this hotel is strange, dude. After a while, I swear Bob started to talk and move around again. But I could hear really? his voice. He'd shift around the room when I wasn't looking. He's I want to see that. the same as he used to be, but there's a higher power at play. What? Wait a second. Did they just reference my song? I mean, I guess they also referenced like El Goblino's higher power thing, but he just called Bob the higher power. Bob? Bob, it's a miracle. Oh. Oi, don't ever <laughs> scare me like that again, hombre. <laughs> well, of course I was worried. We thought you were a goner. <laughs> what are you talking to him, man? There you go. Yeah, no, fill up the tip jar. Send Jeff to college, man. <laughs> All right, there it is. Uh, the true story of Jeff's shop for game tunes. Uh, you know, obviously this is all like made up, but it's fun. I enjoy watching these. If you guys enjoy me reacting to them, uh, click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.